Good morning. For the first time in the history of constitutional government, the revised bill for the Nationality Act that recognizes multiple citizenship was brought to the legislative session on November 13th. According to the revised Nationality Act by the Ministry of Justice, migrants including marriage migrants and Korean Chinese can have multiple citizenship as long as they do not exercise their foreign nationality in Korea. In order to acquire an outstanding pool of foreign talents and to prevent Koreans with multiple citizenships from giving up their Korean citizenship, the Ministry of Justice has submitted the revised Bill of Nationality Act to the National Assembly. According to the current Nationality Act, those with multiple citizenship who do not choose a nationality before the age of 22 automatically lose their Korean nationality. However, with the revised act, those with multiple citizenship can maintain so if they sign a waiver that restricts them not to exercise their foreign nationality in South Korea. Furthermore, marriage migrants, overseas talents, and Korean Chinese who were born and raised in Korea for more than 20 years can now acquire the Korean nationality after they signed a waiver. Additionally, talented overseas human resources pool who had to reside in Korea for five years to be granted Korean citizenship is now waived of the mandatory residency and can now become a naturalized citizen when they arrive in South Korea. The revised Bill for Nationality Act is expected to pass the National Assembly and enacted within six months at the earliest.